So for a lot of different jobs, sometimes you need just different kinds of pullers, different sizes. This one here is smaller, it has two jaws. It's great for pulling off little small pulleys or bearings. And then we have bigger two jaws and just a bunch of different sizes in here. And it's good to just have this variety because these all come in handy, all the different sizes. So on this motor here, we have a rusted pulley that's on here and we need to pull it off. So just for the last hour, I've been taking just some motor oil and soaking that and getting it soaked in there. So this will be easier to pull off. So now we'll just take a gear puller, put the three jaws on and start to tighten this on there. Make sure the tip is in the center. When we start cranking on this, uh, this is actually coming out really easy. As I'm just twisting this by hand, it's already starting to pull it out just by hand. So this really is on there loose. And that's what we wanted. Looks like we're gonna have to put a little, like a dowel rod or metal rod to reach in there because this can't go any farther. So here's a really important step to preserve your pullers, it's the threads. You always wanna put grease on the threads just to make sure these are gliding smoothly and you won't grind them away. If you don't do this, you'll just destroy your pullers. So this is an important step you don't wanna So make. this is something that works really well. Just take a nut that fits right in there. And now what that does is it helps you get this centered and it also gives you the reach that you need to be able to take this off. Now let's go ahead and pull it off the rest of the way. So usually on the end of here, you'd use a big wrench or a ratchet would make it really easy. But since this is coming off so easy, I can just take a pair of pliers and just spin it really easy and I can just watch it start to come off. This is definitely pulling it off very easy. It usually is not this easy just to take this off. Normally, sometimes you have to get a breaker bar and you really start cranking on this. And then these little pieces here seem to be the failing point. Sometimes you just have to double them up and just, I think they should have made these a little thicker because this is where it always breaks. Now we're gonna go ahead and back this off and add another bolt. Now we'll go ahead and add in the next bolt here and push it out a little farther. Sometimes to get this aligned, you just need an extra hand to hold it on there. This is definitely coming off easy. So let me back this off here and let's take the puller off. Now let's try pulling this off by hand. All right, there we go. And that definitely came off really easy. Don't expect it to always come off that easy. Sometimes they're just really stuck on there and it can just be a big pain, but these pullers really work good. It's just really important to keep grease on these threads. So if you're in a situation where you're really cranking on it, it could, it's kind of scary, but if you double these up, it'll give it more strength so that these won't fail. Because we definitely, if you just have one of these on, it can just break through that really easily. Or sometimes the bolts here just shear off and you need to go and get some nice hardened steel bolts so they'll be nice and strong and they won't shear off. But it's important that the hardware that's keeping everything together is strong because the chain's only as strong as the weakest link. So there's just a few techniques on how to get these things off. They can be really hard or they can be a little easier than you think. Now I'm just gonna clean this up so it's ready for the next use. So I hope you guys found this video useful, and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.